I want to make this video about this old 2004 Suzuki Iger 400 4x4 because I really love this ATV. I wanted to share it with you in case you're looking for an old ATV to buy. There's nothing like these old ATVs because they don't have a lot of complicated things to go along with them. And what I mean by that is things that can break like cooling systems, oil coolers, electronics, sensors. Like, I mean, these are like bare minimum. When they made these old ATVs, they build them with the bare minimum stuff. Like, I mean, there's not a whole lot can go wrong with these. And that's what makes them strong and stands true over time. Now I bought the Suzuki Iger used. There was only one previous owner before me. It had 3,200 miles or kilometers on it when I bought it. So it was used, but not badly. And let me tell you, I've put this ATV to work. I've done all kinds of things with this. We burn firewood to heat our home in the winter. I've hauled trees out of the woods here. That's really hard on. There's all kinds of rocks in these woods and you're trying to get over all these rocks and you're pulling trees. It's hard on the old machine. I've carried wood from down the ravine by the river behind our house. I've carried chopped and split firewood to the back of the house to where we take it in to burn it. I've carried wood to the front. This thing has pulled trailer loads of firewood and trees. I've even towed a car with this ATV. And not only that, I even take a trail riding every now and then. This thing has seen lots of trails. It's seen mud, it's seen rivers. <laughs> I've drove it through the rivers. Not only that, I plow snow with it. We have a driveway that's almost half a kilometer long. I have a blade on the front. I've plowed deep snow and it really does a good job. I don't even put chains on the tires. I just put them four wheel drive and I push the snow up and down this driveway and I'm done in no time. It's really good. So I've had this ATV about four years. It'll be five years next year. I've plowed snow for four winters with this ATV. This will be my fifth winter plowing snow. I'd say about the first two, two and a half years, it worked great. Not a single problem other than I cut a tire, which is my own fault. So I put all new tires on it. So then I started having some issues. I had a problem with the fuel petcock, so I changed it. And then right away, I had a problem with the starter it wouldn't start. So I took the starter off and I checked the brushes inside the starter and, and those brushes were wore right out. So ordered some new brushes on Amazon. They showed up, put the new brushes on, put the starter back on and it worked great. Then I had carburetor problems. There's a diaphragm on the top of that carburetor. It looks like a black cone funnel. It had a bit of a tear in it. So I swapped out that diaphragm, set up the carburetor, cleaned it up really good and it's been fine ever since then. And then I started having some issues with it bogging. When I'd come to an idle, it shut off. Uh, when I was riding full throttle, it started cutting out on me. There was something crazy going on. And the reason I'm telling you about this issue is because it's a common problem with Suzuki Igers, Articats. They all kind of had the same engine. And what it is, it's the flywheel. And the flywheel is inside here, inside the engine. And I'm gonna show it to you right now. So this here is the flywheel. And what happens is there's magnets in that flywheel and these magnets are glued in here. They'll sit in here and they're glued. And what happens over time, the glue wears off, it breaks down and these magnets will slide or some will fall into, I don't know where they go, but they, they all fall and they'll all line up here. So you have a whole part of this flywheel where there is no magnets. And this magnet has something to do with the stator and all that. And what happens is it'll make it misfire. It won't run properly. It just, it's just not good. And it happens to nearly all of them. And it's a problem they had. So all I did was, is I ordered a new flywheel off of eBay. There's no magnets like this anymore. There's magnets, but it's built into like a steel. All you see is a steel flywheel and the magnets are built inside. They can't slip. And at the end of this video, I'll have a playlist where you can go watch the repair videos I've done on the Suzuki Iger and also have videos where I've done snow plowing with it. You'll like those. But first I wanna show you around the Suzuki Iger and tell you why they're tough and they, they last forever. So first of all, it's really simple. You know, you get on the here, you turn it on, you fire it up, you got your speedometer, your odometer, you got your trip meter. Over here, you got your throttle. Over here, you got your choke and your lights and your engine kill off run that's if you use it you got your brakes that's it another great feature is these suzuki igers were manual without a clutch so here's your foot shifter so you just you know it's all the way down the bottom is neutral click it up five times through five gears and up here you got your shifter so you got five gears and high five gears and low and then of course you got your reverse 
So basically that's it, you know, this thing was air cooled. There's no liquid cool going on. So you don't, you don't have problems there. It's got drum brakes on the back, but the cool thing is it's got disc brakes on the front. So if you need to stop this thing in a hurry, it stops really well. It came with cool racks, one on the front, one on the back, front end guard here, all steel cover your lights, protect your lights. This one has a winch. It had the winch when I got it and it still works really good. It's got the original 25 inch wheels on it. I did put new tires on it. The tires were a little wore out when I got it, but I would like to put 27s on it, maybe a two inch lift kit. I think that would be really cool. But at the same time, I like keeping it original. So I'm not sure what I'll do yet, but they just keep going and going. Like I beat this thing up and it still keeps going and it's a workhorse around here i depend on this atv a lot so if you have an old atv like this you know what i'm talking about you appreciate it so now you're going to meet smiley he's going to send you to some more videos where you can watch more videos about the suzuki Iger. thanks for watching